Greetings and welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for May 23rd through the 31st, 2018. For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I took it down a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Just a couple more couples here. Okay. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 23rd through the 31st, 2018. Okay. So you're starting out with the Devil, followed by the Knight of Swords. So some of you are dealing with a toxic environment, a toxic person in your energy space. Um, but you are going to... You're going to find out the truth. They're going to come in very quickly. Um, very quickly. The bottom of your deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something that you're not seeing that is keeping you from getting what you deserve. Keeping you from getting your blessings. Um, come in. This is somebody that um, you have been with in the past. A soulmate. Um, somebody that you have had a relationship with. You... Um, you you were hurt by them, but they feel like you left them out in the cold and um, abandoned them in their time of need. And their thoughts of you are you're just out, you know, being the Nine of Pentacles, being this great, single, confident person um, because you didn't choose them. So, um, so Aries, like I said, starting out your week, you're dealing with the toxic devil energy. Um, codependency, addictions. Um, an air sign male is going to come in very quickly for you. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius telling you the truth. Um, pretty much just laying it all out on the line. And this is going to make you feel like your whole foundation is shaken. You don't know what hit you. Yep. Wow. Okay, so the bottom of your deck is the Empress of the Clarifying deck. This could be possibly somebody that you have children with or somebody that you thought you would have a family with. Yep, it's going to rock your foundation. It's going to, um, it's going to leave you on shaky ground. But the universe is here. They are helping you get over this toxic energy, um, these addictions, these codependencies, whatever uh, toxic thing you have going on in your life. But like I was saying as I was shuffling, it's keeping you from your blessings. You're sitting there wondering, waiting, when is my turn? When is it coming in for me? And um, and some truth is going to come in to where you're going to be able to see clearly what it is that has to be done um, in order to release this energy and allow your blessings in. You're going to come into contact with a battle. You're going to come in um, with a fight, um, outside competition. Something is going to shake your whole foundation. It's going to um, it's going to kind of leave you like like you don't know what to do next. You know this uh, relationship is holding you back. You know that something needs to be done. Um, it's time to put that work in. It's time to release. It's time to release that heavy energy. Um, time to put some work in on yourself. Be patient. It's going to be hard. It's going to hurt. But it's going to be worth it in the end. This could be with a earth sign. Um, that's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But um, it doesn't have to be. This person is unstable. This person does not have their finances in order. They are out of balance. They're trying to juggle too much. This could be you. But I'm getting more. This is the person that you are tied to um, in this toxic situation. And you're waiting on some information to come in that's holding you back, holding you from moving forward. But um, for a group of you, you are going to get communication in in the next eight weeks, which would put you in the sign of cancer. Um, in the next eight weeks, you're going to get communication in that's going to allow you to move forward, to move ahead. And that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to move on. You're going to leave this emotionally invested relationship because you're just too emotionally drained. You're, you've 
put in too much and have not gotten out enough right now you're holding back on walking away but by July you're going to um, this is going to be in the upright after this communication comes in and it's going to release you it's going to free you enough that you're going to have the confidence to walk away you're going to leave this third party situation that somebody has put you in and you're going to start healing you're going to start um, finding balance within your life again you're going to start self <coughs> excuse me you're going to start um, some self introspection um, and in that you're going to find healing once you leave this situation yeah there's just somebody's got a grip on you it's either an uh, air sign or an earth sign um, you guys are at constant arguing constant battling um, it's time to let that tower come and I do see the tower happening this week um, and then communication coming in in eight weeks Spirit Angels, do you have any other messages for Aries this week? Uh, the Hermit just came out, so it could be a Virgo. You got King of Pentacles in reverse and Virgo, or and the Hermit. It's time to go within. It's time to allow that with Temperance and Hermit. That is um, the two most spiritual cards in the deck. Um, it's time to it's time to go within. It's time to follow the light of the Holy um, Trinity. Move forward. Um, in a more spiritual direction because you've been holding back because you don't know which way to go you're confused the soulmate or who you thought was your soulmate um, is leaving you so much confusion but by you holding on to this relationship you're holding back your blessings that are meant for you um, you have to release this you have to go within with this hermit so you can turn all these cards upside down or right side up and when you do You'll know what direction to follow. You'll find your soulmate and then it will be your gift from the universe. But first you must um, first you must go within the hermit. There's the two of cups again in reverse. Okay, so hangman on the bottom. Definitely calling out for you guys. Please listen. It's time to go within. Take a step back. Look at the whole picture. Something is going on that you're not seeing. Something's being done behind your back. Um, could be with a fire sign female, but does not have to be. What this is saying is you need to go within. Find the fire within yourself. Find the strength to move forward, to sit on that throne, and to own it like you like you should. Here you have the two of wands clarified by the two of cups in reverse again. So this person is holding you back from your spiritual path. It's holding you back from where you're supposed to be. So lay this relationship down. Leave it to rest. Put it to bed. It is time to walk away from this person um, and let the this burden go. They're they're holding you back and they're manipulating you. But you have the tools to overcome this. You have the strength. You have what it takes to make your life what you want it. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, like I said, once you go within and figure out what it is you truly want, what it is that truly makes you happy, these cards are all going to come in the upright and then you will know what path to take it'll lead you to your soulmate and you will be given your gift from God your blessings will then come in angels what messages do you have for our Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus this week this is a hard thing to do um, it's gonna be a hard week for you guys but that tower is coming in oh goodness free yourself it's time to take your control of your life back it's exactly exactly what I was saying For a group of you, this, this is your spouse. It's time to free yourself. It's time for you to take back control of your life. Um, give your relationship a chance. For this um, card, I'm not seeing as it within the person you're with. This is your relationship with, with yourself, with, um, with your higher power. You know, you have temperance and um, the hermit. That's your spirituality. Give it a chance. You're um, wanting this relationship to work out so bad that you're you're missing the red flags. You're um, you're trying to make this marriage work, and it's just time to it's time to free yourself. It's time to do what's right for you. Um, 
It's time to take the path that is meant for you. Aries is, is a um, kind of a hard message for you guys this week, but you guys, for a group of you, you need to hear it. Um, you know, with this toxic energy, I see them, um, you know, there's, there's unfaithfulness going on there. And you're going to find that out. It's all coming out this week. And ultimately, you are going to walk away. Um, I do see you um, being successful in that. So just free yourself. Free yourself from this toxicity. And allow yourself to walk the path you're meant to walk. So I hope you guys have a um, great end of May. If, you, if this did not resonate with you, go ahead and check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. As often, those will resonate more with some people. Um, and if not, maybe I will catch your energy next week. So have a great end of May and I'll see you in June. God bless.